Hello and welcome back to the Wasteland, everybody. Welcome back to Fallout New Vegas, where today we're going to be taking a look at the missile launcher. This one is basically like the explosive weapons version of a sniper rifle. Sort of. Not counting if you just wanted to load explosive rounds into the 50 cal, which don't actually help with the explosive skill at all. Like, you can build it up, but it won't help with that particular round. The missile launcher will count towards explosives because it is an explosive weapon. So the missile launcher is a weapon that you're probably not going to be finding super early on. There are a couple of them that you can find throughout the wasteland. There's ones that you can buy as well from places like the Gunrunners. They might sell them. And there are a couple places you can go where things like super mutants like to use the missile launcher basically as a sniper rifle because for a super mutant, it kind of fills that role for a sniper rifle. So, the missile launcher requires 75 explosives to wield and 6 strength. Surprisingly, not that much strength for a weapon as big as this, because I figured it would take a lot more. A lot of the heavy explosive weapons do take a lot of strength. This one is pretty mild compared to a lot of the other ones, so 6 strength isn't that bad. Even with an explosive build, you're probably going to go with more strength just so you can carry around more stuff, just for the convenience of it. 75 explosives is going to take you quite a bit, but it is something that you can achieve relatively fast if you want to pump that skill. The missile launcher does 125 damage on the direct impact from the missile, and then it does an additional 200 explosion damage, which that can be amped up quite a bit with different perks, so that's really good. This does a whopping 513 damage per second, although the damage per second is kind of weird because you still have to account for the missile travel, so the damage per second is probably going to be a lot less than that, unless you're just hitting a large crowd of enemies, in which case it'll be a lot more than that because you're hitting multiple. DPS for explosives is really weird because of that. So I'm just going off of what the wiki says. Your experience may vary greatly from this. This has a big old zero for uh, crit damage and crit chance. It actually has no chance of hitting crits at all. And even if it could, it doesn't do any damage with those crits. You, you can still technically hit crits with this if you do a sneak attack. Because sneak attacks are always considered a crit. But since it has zero times crit modifier, you don't get a crit. And since it also has zero crit damage, you also don't get a crit. So doesn't really matter if you're hitting crits with the missile launcher and you really don't need to worry about crits with the missile launcher anyway it does such high base damage that extra crit damage is kind of overkill at that point this costs a massive 55 action points to use in vats you probably don't want to be using it in vats too much because explosive weapons are already really dangerous to be using in vats it's very easy to blow yourself up with especially if you happen to get a lag during vats time so enemies might rush you quicker and then you end up blowing yourself up by accident even if they were well outside of the range where you would normally hurt yourself. Sometimes you just get that lag to where they can easily move up here and then by the time your VATS actually triggers you're basically shooting at point blank and something and that's not good. This has a surprisingly low amount of spread at 0.3. This is one of the most accurate explosive weapons in the game which is kind of funny because you don't really need to be all that accurate with explosives you just got to get close enough to them. But if you do want to hit something directly, then the missile launcher is a pretty good option. This has a mag size of 1, as you would kind of expect. This weighs 20 weight, so it is a very hefty weapon, and that can be a pretty big issue with this weapon. It is not lightweight at all. And then it only comes with 50 item health, which might not sound like a whole lot, but explosive weapons don't necessarily need a whole lot of item health because you're probably not going to be shooting them very much. You're probably going to shoot one or two missiles at the start of an engagement, or as many missiles as you can before enemies actually start coming towards you and then you're going to put it away and switch to a different weapon. You're never going to want to use explosives at close range, at least these type of explosives. There are some that you can get away with, like the Red Glare. That one actually doesn't do that much friendly fire damage, but the Missile Launcher will absolutely kill you if you start using it at very close range, or at the very least, heavily damage you and cripple you. There is also one mod that we should talk about with the Missile Launcher. I'm not going to include it as its own separate thing, because the mod doesn't impact the Missile Launcher that much. There is a guidance system that you can throw on the Missile Launcher, and this just increases your accuracy even more. So you go from like 0 0.3 to like 0 0.15 or something like that, or 0 0.2, something like that. It's even more accurate, so if you want to hit something directly, you absolutely can, but it's it's really not necessary. You don't need to be that accurate with a missile launcher. It's just something that if you find it, it's nice to throw onto your gun, but if you don't, you're not going to be missing it or anything like that. For the pros of the missile launcher, this one does do really high damage. That is something that's amazing about it. It also has a really big explosion radius, so you can hit things in a pretty big area. It also has extremely long range for an explosive weapon. A lot of explosive weapons don't have the greatest range because a lot of them you have to lob or arc into enemies. This one isn't the case. You can just point it directly at something so long as it's far enough away and shoot at it, which can work really well. This is why this is kind of like the sniper rifle of explosive weapons, if you want to call it that. It also has really good ammo. That's another really nice pro to this. The missiles are pretty good by themselves, and then you have a couple other ones which we'll talk about here in a second. For the cons of this though, it actually does come with quite a few cons. It is very heavy. 
It, both it and the ammo is extremely heavy, especially if you're playing on the hardcore difficulty. If you're not playing on hardcore, then it's just the 20 weight you have to worry about from the missile launcher. If you're playing on hardcore, then every single missile will weigh you down by one and a half weight. And that adds up really fast. It makes it so buying explosives can be really awkward and you're going to be carrying around more weight than you otherwise would with a different character. So it can be kind of awkward, but different perks can help with that, like Pack Rat. Since it is less than two, it'll at least cut them in half. Then they're three quarters of a weight each, which is still heavy, but it's not as heavy. This has very high action point cost. You don't want to be using this in a VATS build, really. You're probably going to get one shot off, maybe two shots if you are going to the VATS build. But VATS builds and explosive builds don't always work very well together, so you might not want to do that anyway. This has a slow rate of fire and slow follow-up shots. That might not be an issue if you're just using this for an initial shot and then switching over to a different weapon. But if you do plan on having multiple follow-up shots, it's going to be potentially awkward with the missile launcher, if, especially against fast-moving enemies where they might get close and you might hurt yourself. And then the, the last major con is all the self-damage that comes with this. It's really easy to hurt yourself with a missile launcher because it does have a really big explosion radius, even more if you're using the high-explosive shells that it has. And if you also have splash damage as a perk, then it is a really big explosion radius, and you have to be pretty careful about that because the distance that it hits is surprisingly large, and it's really easy to cripple your limbs, if nothing else, from this. For the different ammos that we have for the missile launcher, we actually have four different ones that you can load into the gun. We have the standard missiles. These ones just do flat damage. They have the standard explosion radius and everything to them, which is fine. It, the missiles are pretty good. You're probably going to be using them the most out of any of the explosives for the missile launcher but it does have some other options too. You also have the high velocity rounds. These ones make it so your rocket moves about three and a half times faster than it otherwise would, which is really good. That's actually probably my favorite of the missiles. It doesn't change the missile in any way. You don't lose damage, you don't gain damage, you don't get a bigger explosion radius or anything. It's the same as the regular missile, it just moves way faster. And that makes it so longer range shooting with the missile launcher is a whole lot easier to do otherwise because the missiles do move slow and if you're trying to shoot them at very long range there can be enough time where enemies actually move far enough away to where it doesn't really hurt them where you're just kind of hitting them with the edge of the splash damage especially if it's something fast moving like Hazdor's usually it doesn't matter because you can just kind of fire all around in their area and you'll probably clear them up but uh, at longer distances that can be a little bit of an annoyance then you've got high explosive rounds these ones do a little bit more damage they do 35 percent more damage and they also give you a bigger explosion radius by 50 percent that's pretty cool makes it so you can clear up even more enemies do even more damage these are kind of more expensive and more rare to be buying you can't make any of these missiles in any way but the high explosive ones can actually be really fun even more dangerous again if you're taking like splash damage with this because it's just easier to hurt yourself and then the last one you get is the missiles hives these ones actually do quite a bit more damage than the regular missiles, but they have a whole lot more spread than regular missiles, and you fire out multiple of them. You fire out nine little missiles that can do more damage, assuming that you connect with all of them, or can be spread out like a shotgun to deal more damage towards more enemies in an area. It doesn't actually give you a bigger explosion radius than the missiles, but each missile does have its own explosion radius, so that can cover more of an area. The Hive rounds are really fun to use, even though I don't necessarily think that they're the best. I think the High Velocity and High Explosive are kind of the best ones. If you just have regular missiles, though, they'll work perfectly fine. And the Hive missiles you can buy from quite a few vendors because this comes with the Gunner's Arsenal DLC. So even traveling merchants might have quite a few of these on them. So that's pretty awesome. For an overall rating for the missile launcher, I'd actually put it all the way up into A tier. I think it's really good. It's probably one of the best explosive weapons to be carrying around. You don't really want to be using it as your main weapon in an explosives build but it is really good for an initiating weapon. You just fire this in and then switch to whatever your main weapon is. So if you're using like Thumb Thump or you're using Mercy or you're using the APW or something, I think those all make for better primary weapons for an explosives build that you're gonna be actively using more often during combat. But this is really, really good for actually starting up combat. There is also a unique version of the missile launcher which is even better than the regular one. This one is called Annabelle. And Annabelle, you can only get if you go to Black Mountain and you kill the Super Mutant Sniper who has this. And they're going to be using this to try to shoot you. So try to kill them before they kill you. Because if you get hit with a missile launcher, it's going to hurt a lot. And potentially outright kill you, especially if you're playing on like very hard. Annabelle has a little bit different stats than the regular missile launcher. This one requires 75 explosives, just like the regular one. But this only requires 5 strength. So it's very low strength for an explosive weapon, which is pretty awesome. Just about any class will be able to use this, at least in terms of strength. Explosive skill, you're still going to have to put quite a few points into explosives, but it's totally manageable, especially if you want to potentially rush there quick. I wouldn't really recommend rushing to Black Mountain right away, but 
If you're really just hell-bent on getting a really cool missile launcher, then Annabelle could be something that you could be shooting for. This does 150 damage on direct impact, and then does an additional 200 damage on the explosion, so a little bit more damage, at least on direct impact, than a regular missile launcher. This has even higher damage per second at 663, so DPS is quite a bit higher with this one. This one also has zero crit chance and zero crit damage, so you can't hit crits with this at all. This costs a little bit less action points at 47, which does help out a little bit, but again, you probably don't want to be using explosives in VATS very often, and 47 is still quite a lot of action points to be using. You might be able to get two, three shots off with this, maybe even four shots if you stack everything for action points. I'm not sure what the maximum amount of action points you can actually have is, but it seems like you could at least get off three shots with this if you were going to be stacking that. Still, probably something I wouldn't really recommend. This has an even lower spread than the regular missile launcher, where this one has 0.02 spread. It is shockingly accurate. It's more accurate than most rifles are, funny enough. This one also holds one round in it. Nothing has changed there. This one does weigh less. It only weighs 15 weight, which is nice. That's five weight less than a regular missile launcher. And this one has double the item health, so it has 100 item health, which is pretty good. You don't necessarily need a whole lot of item health for the missile launcher. We kind of talked about that earlier, but having more health is always good. This one, I would just say, is a straight upgrade to the regular missile launcher. So I would put this one probably a tier higher and put it up into S tier. It's really, really good. It's going to be a fantastic opening for any sort of explosives build. And with the 15 weight, it does become more manageable. That can actually be cut down even further with the help of heavy weight, which I would recommend for an explosives build because that would cut the weight in half. So it would go from 15 just to 7.5 weight, and that's way more manageable overall. There are some other perks we should probably talk about with explosive builds that do help with this. There's no specific perk that actually helps with the missile launchers. Uh, kind of surprised that Grunt doesn't. I wish it did because that would be really cool, but it's fine that they just get the grenade rifle. Splash damage can help with this, get you a bigger explosion radius, but that's also dangerous. You're probably not going to be using the missile launcher indoors. Probably. There are some indoor locations where you can get away with it, but outdoors is definitely where the missile launcher uh, succeeds at. Splash damage is always kind of a double-edged sword. You might want to take it, you might not want to take it for an explosives build. Hit the deck helps because that just gives you more explosion resistance, so that's pretty good. You just don't blow yourself up as much. Demo Expert just gives you a flat amount of damage, and all explosive weapons love that, so you might as well take it if you're going with that build. And then again, the quality of life perks of Heavyweight and Pack Rat can also be really, really useful. Heavyweight just to cut down the weight of the missile launcher, that'll cut the regular one down to 10 weight, far more manageable than 20, and Annabelle down to 7.5 weight, again, far more manageable than 15. And then Pack Rat, at least if you're playing on the hardcore difficulty, will cut all your missiles down from one and a half weight to three quarters of a weight. So 0.75. That does help out a lot. Those ones, if you combine all of them, it does make it so the missile launcher is a lot more practical than it otherwise would be. If you're just running around with an explosives build, you may just want to take something like Annabelle and then carry around something like 20 to 30 missiles for it so that you can initiate a fight with it. Unless maybe you're playing on like the difficulty that I am where I have 10 times the amount of spawns, then maybe you might want to carry around more. Tell me your thoughts on the missile launcher down in the comments below. How do you enjoy using it? Thank you guys so very much for watching this. I hope that you guys did enjoy it, and I will talk to you guys next time. Bye-bye, everybody.